YouTube! What the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage here, back in Total War Thrones of Britannia with some pre-release, early access footage, exclusive Northumbria campaign. Northumbria. Whatever you all want me to call it. You, you tell me in the chat what I'm supposed to call it. <laughs> There's going to be so much stuff in this game that I can't pronounce. It's going to be even worse than Napoleon Total War, but I'll try. I'll try, people. I really might. Um, let's look at our objectives here. It's probably what I'd be going for here is like some kind of short conquest victory. So 50 settlements, 10 provinces in full. We could try that. Campaign settings. Uh, let's limit the battle time in case it gets too crazy or we get an AI bugged out or something. So yeah, let's get things started. I don't believe that there's any embargo on anything I can show you. I'm just, I'm not allowed to make a review yet, though I'm not sure if I do reviews anyway. I mean, I may make a video where I talk more about it, but I am allowed to give you my impressions and other stuff, which I'll do as I go along. Ragnar died here, killed by an English king. How fitting that we now rule his lands. For ten years, the great army ravaged England before we settled the conquered lands of Northumbria. We have carved out a kingdom of our own on an understanding between Viking and English. But it is a fragile alliance, requiring the right king to lead it. If we remain strong, all of England lies open before us. If not, we will follow Ragnar to his grave. That was great. It had all those nice snakes in it. No one knows how long the current peace will last. Use I do. the lull in hostilities to build your strength. Combine Viking might and English resolve to make North Humbra the greatest kingdom these isles have ever known. One of your armies is based at your capital as a defensive force. Your other army is ready to deal with the rebels in the north. This rebel army must be put down rebel before scum. you can expand your reach. All right. Let's see. Mission issued. We should stabilize internally before looking beyond our borders. Eliminate the rebels of Dunholm. All right. We can do that. Gives us stability. So, welcome to Thrones of Britannia, Northumbria campaign, or Northumbria, whatever you all want me to call it, like I said. So we're going to get things started. Um, obviously, our faction is one of the uh, the great army factions. And let me start off, too, by saying, sorry I've been away for a couple of days. I have been working some insane long hours trying to get some stuff done, so it's been a little bit busy. But I'm excited to bring you all this game. Um, I've had videos before where I kind of talked through some of the mechanics up here. So I don't really want to have to cover all those again. I kind of just want to play the game. If you all want to go back, I actually played a little bit of this campaign a while back and talked a little bit about the war fervor and uh, all these other things up here. So, in any case, let's get rid of some rebel scum. Yeah, this isn't really worth our time to fight, so we're going to auto-resolve that one. Fight using balanced tactics. Some people have wondered how the uh, performance in the game is. Um, it's it's okay. My <laughs> it's, have been I have a very fancy computer and I'm running the resolution at uh, 2560 by 1440. Um, I'm getting about 60 frames a second here on the map and that's with a i7 8700K and a GTX 1080 Ti and my i7 is overclocked so I think that um, the performance in this game, and you can turn down the graphics some, and like for instance, this is on ultra. I turned it down to um, high, and it gave me about five more frames. Um, if you're running at 1080p, it obviously won't be as demanding, but again, I have a very, very high-end machine, and it, it's running this game at 60 frames a second consistently is not really possible at this resolution. There's going to be dips below it. Um, but to me, that's just more of a failing of the, uh, the Attila engine than it is anything else. But I've mentioned that. That wouldn't be anything new to me. But uh, aside from the frame rates, which aren't as nice as I'd like, it's not bad. 
game's running smooth. I'm getting close to 60 frames. Um, and it looks good. It does look good. I like what they've done with the map. They've added a lot of cool stuff. You can see the settlements here. And then there's the minor settlement aspect now, too, where you have these minor settlements that are kind of like little specialty things. So, it's pretty cool. Like, that piece I like. I think it's pretty neat. So, our general is also our king here. Guthfried. Um, we're going to start off, let's see, we don't have to worry about loyalty because he's the king. Um, these different trees, like Champion makes his melee, his unit better in melee, which is kind of fun, but I really kind of like this forager to start off with because it helps me get extra food and helps him replenish faster. Your skill points and stuff are there and you can spend it on these different followers. So we've done that. Taking care of business with the rebels. We got our two armies. Let's kind of take inventory of the uh, overhead look here. So, Northumbra. Northumbra? Whatever. Whatever. I'm just going to call it Northumbria because I can't I can't do that anymore. Um, I think we're currently mostly at peace. Uh, let's take a look at... What is it I wanted to do? Where's my where's the economy? Where's my faction at? Faction, faction, faction. Toggle objectives. What? I'm trying to move my faction. Well, crap. Here it is, faction. <laughs> I was looking for like a little, um, I was looking for the symbol. All right, governors and estates, this is what I wanted to check. So, yeah, we got our different governors. Let's check estates. Our king has the only estate, which is Doncaster, whatever that is, Doncaster, Caster, whatever. All these unpronounceable things. All right, so those are split up evenly for now. If you don't split those up right, it can cause a lot of angst amongst your uh, nobles. Let's take a look at our settlement scroll. No. Settlement scroll, which armies, provinces, here we go. And let's just take a look at the different provinces we own and what we might want to do with it. We want to get an economy booming. And this faction's totally capable of it. And we also want to get enough food so that we can start recruiting a lot. You can see that um, all these yellow buildings are market type buildings, economy focused. So this this uh, martyr martyrs mint. Let's build that, and let's spend some of our money. Let's see if there's any food resources that we can take advantage of. Uh, yeah, right here. Take our food up by a decent bit. Kind of start off that way. Can't spend any more money on markets. Can't build up this uh, forge. Which takes up uh, economy, but allows us to upgrade weapons and armor. So that's, that's actually kind of nice. It takes a little while to build buildings on here, too. It's more like your traditional historical games. Let's end the turn. I don't think we're at war with anybody right now, so we do need to get some units recruited. Because when you do recruit units, um, remember in this game they don't recruit as a full unit. They actually come out I like a really damaged rank. unit is the way it looks. And it's representing the fact that you started that unit and they're having to build up the strength. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of it. I think it's kind of pointless because it just makes players have to wait a long time. But some people felt like it was a nice addition and that's why they added it. But yeah, I honestly don't really see the point. But if you like it, more power to you. And guess what? I'll live with it. I'll shut my trap and live with it. You can rely on us. I'm trying to remember how to. There's a game. I'm trying to remember how to fast forward the camera. I hit the uh, space bar, but it doesn't. Animations advisor menu options campaign settings no 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 all right whatever we'll figure it out no oh, don't exit the desktop that would have been bad all right our government our governor leveled up let's give him this scribe which starts to increase his governor governance jeez can't talk 
We got a little bit of cash. This one actually takes away food production. Great. How'd you know that's what I want? This one also takes away some food production, but gives extra to trade. Extra garrison. I mean, we need to build the stuff up at some point, so if it eats a little food, so be it. We're upgrading some buildings that affect food. Is that really all the places we have to impact food and what's a relatively large starting position, huh? I do you like the music in this game? No doubt about that. Music is great. It's fun. Sounds cool. Definitely a nice feel to it. The art, UI, all that other stuff is also quite nice. They've done a good job with it. We'll pledge our service. Let's just end another turn. I need to think about who I want to go to war with, so I'm going to study out the uh, diplomacy on the next one. So we definitely want to get a war going. We're going to need some food. Why not take it from someone else? It's a good way to get food, isn't it? My prowess increases. Oh, does it now? Our foe shall fall. Another governor. Do you scribe there as well? This loyalty's not good, but it's decent for now. Okie dokie. Um, let's think. What do we want to do war-wise? Well, let's go to our diplomacy screen and see who likes us, see who doesn't like us. Who's around us? I mean, we got this. There's a farm down here. We like farms. I'd like to take the farm off these guys. It's a vassal kingdom, though. So it probably wouldn't look good going to war with one of my vassals. Hillierborg. So we could go to war with them. There's some resources down here. We had iron. Another farm here, but it's not owned by them. West Moringas. Hmm. That could be a good one. We could take this land over here. There's a farm. There's furs. A couple farms, actually. Let's do that. It's going to be my plan for now. These guys to the north of me don't look very trustworthy. I don't know why, but they just don't. It's interesting. It said that this was actually a hard start position. Kind of wondering why. It doesn't look like it's that hard. Who knows? Maybe it comes back to bite me in the end. I forgot to even check the settings that I have this on. Holy crap. Options. Campaign settings. Well, geez. Let's crank the battle difficulty up a little bit. I didn't realize what difficulty it was set on. I just started the campaign. It was on normal. On the next episode, I may restart one and put it on something harder, but we'll see. I'll crank up the battle difficulty at the very least. Yeah, these guys are out of my lands. Don't really approve of that. Let's see what kind of units we can recruit. We'll see this through. Let's see. Recruit units. Uh, we'll take this sword here, Edmund. Or will we? Axemen will probably be better for me here. Some shock infantry are always nice to have. How much food these guys eat up? Ten. So it'd take... I can only recruit a couple of these. Well, I think when the buildings I need come through, we should be able to support three. We'll find out pretty quick. There we go. We'll go ahead and recruit them, because like I said, it's going to take a while to uh, get them up to full strength. This guy's icon kind of look like the white tree at Gondor. I mean, not exactly right, but a little bit at least. I have achieved greater rank. I have achieved greater rank. Why do you just really announce that? Good for you. We're all very proud of you. We're very proud. Actually, his loyalty is pretty bad. Let's give him a priest to keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on that one. Make him stay in church. Yeah, see, this is why I don't like this uh, whole mechanic, because now it just takes me, like, turns upon turns upon turns for these guys to be, like, 
the full fighting force tonight. It's probably just more of like a pet peeve thing for me. Um, because I'm used to not having to do that. Get some upgrades while we're here. Yeah, that upgraded our uh, armor and weapons because of the smith in this uh, area. Which is why we're upgrading that too. We can get to tier 2. It'll help make you guys a whole lot stronger as you work through those types of things. Let's go ahead. That took quite a bit of our money to do that. I'm going to try and put some pressure on these guys. Yeah, they just recruited more units. What'll be tricky here is that... Um, Lead on the side of battle. Well, I'd rather have favor with the army. I can't make the English happy. I mean, we're not gonna make them happy, are we? We're gonna attack them. Impossible. You can rely on us. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's check our provinces again. Still, it's, yeah. See, the building's taking quite a long time to build. Ooh, I forgot some of this is going to hit food production. We might go on the negative on food, so we need to capture a farm pretty quickly. Where was that farm? It's right here and then here. They got a lot of defenses. We'll see this Further up north. Not an option. We'll pledge our service! Could just come further south and attack him, but then it'll leave us open to counterattack further up north. Almost thinking, uh, what if we take this army, swing down here, and see if we can hit their farm, and then swing up north from there. Governance loyalty's pretty bad. Let's give him a priest. Really, the priest gives a negative. Local enemy province. What are you, local enemy province? Oh, what? That's just weird. Oh, okay, it's, it's, if it's with a general, he gives a negative public order in an enemy province. Got it. But if he's with the governor, it's a different effect. Yeah, all that eats into food production, which I can't really afford right now. This does not. It just gives us more industry, but it's also going to make public order worse. I'm just gonna remind myself of public order. Looks like public order here is pretty solid. Let's do that. End of turn. Keep our army marching. We're gonna come down here to maim, whatever, <laughs> however you say that. These names, folks. These these names. It's like they're combining letters in the English language that I'm familiar with in a way that I've never seen before and it's like I can't speak my own language. It's pretty interesting. What do we got here? Oh, okay, public order's low anyway, so we might get a rebellion down here. We'll see this through. I really wonder if I could beat these Find guys in combat. I'm worried if I attack them though, like if I if I go around them and go after these other settlements, that they'll just go around me. And, and the AI really loves to go for your unprotected small settlements. Like the only way you can protect those is by recruiting. No other way to protect it. Oh, I forgot about the supply thing here too. If we get behind enemy lines for too long, my bad. I shouldn't have moved over there yet. I may move back. Let's end another turn. So we can try and get in position here to uh, take our first provinces. It's definitely a slower pace than what you're used to when you're playing Warhammer. More time, more turn ins. Can't get around as quick. Recruiting takes longer. Replenishment takes longer. Everything takes longer. You got a lie. Which, I, again, I guess some people like. For me, it's kind of like, you know, I buy Total War to play battles. 
And so I get frustrated spending too much time on the campaign map, honestly. That's just me, though. Not everybody has to be the same. We need food. We need food. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to get an economy going pretty good with these guys, but if we can capture that farm over there, should be in better shape. I'm gonna go ahead and move up, and we should be in position to do that. Ooh, food production zero. Zero. Stance fortify, immune to terrain attrition, plus 100% unit replenishment multiplier. That would be good. Dig in and keep watch. Yeah, we still replenish slower than bot. You guys saw how many turns ago I recruited these guys, right? Just how long it takes you to get it. So again, to me, a little bit overkill. I'm, I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. This will actually give us more food. Public order is bad, so we're risking a rebellion right now. We'll just have to deal with it if it happens, but we got to start taking territory off these guys, or else we'll just be to stand still until someone attacks us. I'd rather be the one doing the attacking. What are you doing in my land, goat people? <laughs> I don't know what faction that is, so they're the goat people for now. Let's see here. So we got someone trying to blackmail Guthfried. You jerk. I'll pay him off. Stop the blackmail. All right, we can start researching tech. Let's research industry because it's the only thing we can research right now. We got to, um, we've got to build the right stuff. Like we got to have enough sword and axe units recruited in order to start doing melee research, which I like to do. But we'll get there. Right now we can't support that army, which is a real problem. There's to clear work. Sup, chumps? You want War. See? You can't defend these small settlements. <laughs> so I can take my tiny army. Take away their food supply. Yoink. Thank you. Super chumps. We'll see this through. We're gonna need some more units. <laughs> We're gonna need some more men. I'll take as many of these as I can afford right now. If we can afford these guys too, let's do that. Okay. Our troops are going to have a uh, relatively small... We'll our service. Uh, Stand ...counts, easy, but we're going to have to attack and beat these guys so they don't get behind our lines. Risky, but... We live on the wild side, folks. These guys are replenishing all their new units as well. Ooh, they got long axemen too. That's kind of dangerous, actually. Let's see if we can take them. It's our only chance. We just gotta win. We gotta be better. We actually have more long axe units than they do. They got all those spear units, which won't do great. Our sword haired men will do well against all those spears. We've, we've got more axes in general, which makes me feel good. Feels good. But they have more cavalry. That concerns me. But it is the AI, so we'll see how well they can use said cavalry. Uh, I don't want the ranks. Just going to make my frame rates worse. <laughs> there we go. Let's start the battle. In a battle like this, my frame rates are pretty good. But when you get into a siege battle or something, they're, they're not great. Got those Northumbrian Thanes too. Let's put our Axemen. Gonna make a line right in the center. We want their charge bonus. I'm gonna put these sword herdmen behind these uh, Axemen. Spearmen on the flanks. And actually we'll put our general right behind here too. Just to kind of secure that area. Our general's in an infantry unit right now. Stupid rocks in the way of my deployment. Ready for war. Okay. 
Archers! Guardian Plunder! Let's keep my cavalry towards the back. Our foes will fall. I'm gonna hard group these guys, just make it a little easier to move. Hush it! Don't care about your advice. Yeah, this is another thing too about AI back in these days with total. Whoa, my frame drop! Holy cow! Came across something right there that dropped me like from like 60 down to nothing. That was kind of weird. Just did it again right there. It's like a weird stutter and then it pops back up to like a hundred. That is strange. Yeah, performance definitely an issue. Definitely an issue. It's not horrible, but it's certainly not certainly not good. Ooh, cinematic. Alt K. Look at our guys marching for in the deer, walking across the battlefield. Again, I have the graphics settings on Ultra right now, but I turned it down just a hair on a few of them, like shadows and other stuff, so I could pick up a few extra frames. Um, there is an extreme preset. Doesn't matter what kind of computer you have, it won't be able to run it. Do you all remember back in the day, too, when Creative Assembly claimed that... Um, that the reason Attila wouldn't run uh, good on people's computers because it was designed for uh, future hardware. Yep, I got that future hardware, folks. <laughs> yeah, it's just the engine. Very limited. Very, very limited. Hear the battle cries getting started. Let's do up a charge here, except I'm going to put my two cavalry in their own group. Okay. Let's get some uh, cinematic battle action here. Our general is under attack. Let's get our spearmen. We've got our long axes. That's my general. Right here. No, this is my general's unit. See? They free before our might. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. Um, the charge on our axemen. What in the world are you doing, son? You guys had an attack order over here. Do you see that? What in the world's going on there? I kind of just kept my cavalry in reserve because I expect the AI to blob a little. An entire unit has perished. Okay, we broke through here. Take out the scout horseman. Battle's not going bad for us right now. What is up with our archers? It's like they're not even doing anything. There's a hole in their lines here. Let's shoot that gap. Go push their skirmishers out of here. Actually, we could go chase down some of these rowdy. No, no, they're wavering. They're still back. There we go. Shot the gap. Get through to their archers. Let's take our own archers. We broke through here. Perfect. Let's start wrapping it up. What's this unit here? A long X-Men. To my uh, Northumbrian Thanes here. I don't think this will be super impressive, but here comes our long axeman. The battle is turning in our favor. Good. All right, we lost our scout cavalry, but that's no surprise. They were pretty, pretty weak to begin with. Their royal companions are here fighting our own. Ooh. Our general's taking a bit of a beating at the hands of their general, but we just outflanked him. Let's see if we can. My archers on skirmish. Yes, that's why they were doing stupid things. It all makes sense now. Ooh, that was lucky that our general didn't die. Ok, 
Okay, we routed the enemy here. Now their skirmishers are just gonna run away from me. Nope, but with their uh, general dead, we routed them. So there we go. Guthfried gets a, a mighty victory. The unbreakable wall is his army. I like it. If you're supposed to get someone's revenge there, Wolf Sieg, then didn't work out so well, did it? Alright, so we struck a pretty pretty big victory here. Marching formation. It was somewhat costly. Not an option. I'm actually going to leave their army like that for, well, no, that's actually kind of risky as well. Uh, plus five supplies when raiding. Let's do some raiding. So we'll do a little bit of raiding so it'll uh, help our supplies out because we definitely want to have plenty of supplies. That's what this bar is right here. And then we can use this army to keep pushing through their territory. Let's see, uh, province might rebel, province might rebel. Okay, yep, so be it. If it does, we'll have to deal with it, won't we? Command governments general. There's our other general here. Need some loyalty. Guthfried. Forager. All right, maybe eventually we can replenish it, you know, decent rates or something. I'm not gonna do this episode terribly long. I'm gonna try and do these in roughly 30 to 40 minute chunks so they're more digestible to watch for folks. I think there is a garrison at that other settlement though. I can't remember for sure. Actually, no, I don't, there, there may not be. We'll double check. Settlement. Okay. Yeah. There's no. There shouldn't be a garrison. Our foe shall fall. But we can't reach it on this turn either. Hit hard. All right. Let's see if we can uh, close in and take their settlement. Enemy blood will flow. I'll bet it will. Whatever you say. Let's see if we can pin these guys up and finish them off. We can use all this extra food to get a good sized army going. These guys may be, yep, there's some rebels actually, so it's a good thing we had our own army there. These guys turn around to like come back at me? They may. They may try and go march through my own land. The AI will do that sometimes. They'll just march my past me. Have been boosted. Oh, there's a war. Now things is going to get interesting. Yeah, the folks to the north of us just declared war. Now we got this war on our hands as well. So things just got real. Should be able to uh, auto resolve this. It's not like I have like key units in here or something. Just get rid of these rebels. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out something with these these guys here. Hurry along. We'll see this through. Auto resolve. Get rid of the rebels. I don't know how to speed up the uh, animations. It's usually spacebar, but that's not doing anything, so I have to try something different here. My flowers increases. You can rely on us. Okay, we got a loyalty issue that we need to address as well, and it's because of this. Let me show you all. This will pop up a lot where you'll all of a sudden see like all your characters suddenly become very disloyal. Um, it's because when you take new settlements like that, sometimes you'll get a new estate. You see here now there's three estates. And everybody's jealous because your king has three estates. They don't like that. 
So basically, you just need to take and, and reassign it to the other nobles here. So, um, like if we take a look, uh, governors. So, yeah, it tells you where their governor's at. So we could give it to Carl and Oswald, maybe, for instance, just to give an example. If you're trying to keep loyalty from these guys. So you just need to split it up. It's really kind of simple. I'm trying to remember how we change the estates. I think you drag it off here. Is that how you do it? Yes, that's how you do it. Actually, I did not give that to the guy I meant to. Is it Carl and Oswald? That'll work. I don't think we can give it to him now, though, because we already gave it to someone else. So we'll give that one to Oswald. But see, if you spread it back out, it actually fixes the loyalty issue because now they're no longer mad that you own like way more estates than they do. It's a fairly simple mechanic. Anyway, that'll be it for now. Uh, we'll get started next time and uh, do some more work on this. And we'll have to deal with what's no doubt going to be a huge war uh, to the north of us. A rather large war, in fact. Uh, assuming that the AI pumps out enough units to fight us. I don't see any of their armies right on my border, but they, they could move them that way, so we'll have to keep an eye out. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage signing out of Thrones of Britannia for now. I'll be back with more soon.